I chose to leave the life I knew to seek another way. I said goodbye to the world behind and slowly turned away. I grabbed what little that I had and packed it in my bags. I closed the gate behind me. There would be no turning back. Like many in the past, I was forced to move away. If the rains had come last year, perhaps I could have stayed. This place had seen better days, but I can't remember when. And this land may never yield. There were too many broken men. So I leave the land I know. I really tried my best. Nature threw its worst at me. I was doomed to fail the test. Like many in the past, I was forced to move away. That's the last of the broad beans harvested for getting it ready for the winter crops. Finding a few potatoes. Bargain. As you can see, the trailer is stuck on the driveway at the moment. It's a fairly steep incline, but unfortunately I should have filled the water barrels up at the top of the hill instead of the bottom of the hill. And the, uh, the little tracks couldn't get enough traction getting up the hill. So we've unhitched the trailer and uh, Ben's coming across with his four-wheel drive ute. And that will allow us to uh, tow it to the top of the hill. Big mistake by me. Being able to... Uh, Tow the trailer up with the ute and hook it back up to the tracks so we're right to go again. Thank heavens.
I'm Alison. I'm Malin's daughter. We're just working on our shed today. Uh, we've got to paint the boards before we put the guttering on. Um, we've gone for a pretty neutral colour just so we can blend in with the eucalypts. And uh, yeah, we're doing a bit more work. <laughs> We've got our block of land here today and we've got we've got 12 tonne of stone delivered from Oatlands. Um, we're really keen on the colour of this stone, the nice like warm cream Mediterranean look and we're creating our stone wall. My partner Ben's been doing a lot of work. Um, so basically we're going for a dry stone look on the front and we've done like a lime mortar on the back. We haven't used cement, we're just seeing how it goes so that we can work with it. Um, and basically we've been trying use a lot of these scutch combs uh, things like that and we've also got some of these feathers we've just bought them we're just having a go with them but they're a little bit tricky with the sandstone because it's got like a very defined grain through it so we're still learning but we're getting there <laughs> of our garden. Um, this is the first part we established through very frugal and thrifty measures by propagation, uh, gifts, swapping, things like that. But we mainly have succulents. Um, we did try a few natives, like we've got the native flowering gums and things. But as you can see, the native flowering gum there hasn't grown a huge amount. But um, we've had a lot of success with lots of ground cover sedums, um, crassulas and the carpobrotus, which is the native pig face. Um, behind me though, we actually managed to trim up these native cherries. Um, they're actually, the good thing about these is they, they trim up really, really nicely and create like a nice little um, spaces for the native birds, the really small ones to hide from the bigger birds. So they actually are probably one of the most Mediterranean looking Australian native plants that I can find that I really, really like. So they're dotted all the way through the block and we just kept them for shade and to keep the water moisture in the soil as well. This is another example of one of the cashewarinas we uh, turned into a tofuri. Uh, basically we just keep trimming it and I've not actually seen an example of one um, trimmed up like this but it, we're going to keep working on it, the birds like it and, and why not try a little bit of formality with the natives as well, it works really well, we really love this one. We created this seating area, basically we, we started with the wall and we made it curve all the way around. This is our first wall, so it's not the best, but um, it's using a local volcanic style rock, so it, it, it shatters quite a lot. So you can see it's it's not the squarest wall, but it does have a nice character to it. Um, and we also had one of our neighbours. Um, they saw us sitting here on just like a, a little log or something, and they said, you know, you can have these free chairs. So yeah, it's really, really nice. It's a nice community here and um, yeah, a great place to sit and have a coffee. Day down on the block. Made some scones and red currant jam. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. 